Can you remember Jasper? No, yeah. That's my friend, Jasper. The first time I met Jasper we had so much fun. I told him a story and we played games and puzzles. He is such a cool kid. Adrian had an interesting conversation with Jasper's parents afterwards. Yeah, Jasper was super cool. So we, we met Jasper for the first time earlier this year. We put out a post on social requesting parents and kids to be able to come into the office and test the first sort of prototypes with Norby. So we sat down with Jasper. Norby sort of wakes up and the first thing Norby says is, Hi Jasper, nice to meet you. And his reaction is pretty cool. Like he's blown away that, that Norby knows his name. We wrap it up and then I, uh, I take Jasper into the back room where his mum, Stephanie, is waiting. He runs up, gives her a really big cuddle, um, big smile on his face. She's really happy. Starts asking him, okay, how did you go? And he's like, yeah, it was really cool and etc. etc. She kind of cuts him off and says, yeah, and I noticed that you made some mistakes and you didn't get mad. That kind of stood out. I also noticed when she, when she mentioned that, that she was kind of getting a little bit emotional. She was almost tearing up. So I sat down and chat to her and said, look, you mentioned that he didn't get mad. C can you elaborate on that? Like, what does that, that mean? At school this year, if the teacher has asked a question and he puts his hand up and he feels quite strongly that he's got the right answer, quite often what he's answered is not even relevant to what the teacher's asked. He's just excited that he has an answer. So the teacher will say, no, Jasper, that's not quite right. You know, thanks for trying. He'll get quite upset about that. He feels he... He hasn't achieved what he thinks in his mind he's tried to achieve. With Norby, he was not getting the right answer. Uh, we could see Norby saying, no, that's not right. Do you yeah. want a hint? Things like that. And he was so engaged with it that he was like, okay. You know, he just kept going. He wasn't getting upset. He wasn't giving up. And he kept going until he got the right answer. And that's right. something normally that he wouldn't be able to work his way through. But with Norby, he was quite happy to keep trying and trying and trying. Yeah. Whether it was the fact of Norby being a little bit more human-like, giving him those hints, the novelty of it being a robot and that, that it was like a toy almost. His toy is talking to him. We've not ever seen him interact with something in that way whereby he was getting the wrong answer, but he kept trying. Obviously, there's some aspect of Norby that is working for him. And for us, that's huge, you know. Anything is going to make his learning easier for him, make him focus on it, actually do the learning, is going to be a game changer. The short of it is, is like, yeah, we're all different. We yes. all have different strengths and weaknesses. We all learn at different paces. We all have different interests. Unfortunately, the issue at the moment is we kind of have this one-size-fits-all system. And that's kid. the problem. Like, Jasper's expected, even though he has a disability, he's expected to still, you know, you're in a mainstream school, so you, you'll do the same work as what the other kids will do. He doesn't get easier work to account for his autism. His only option is if he can't do this, if he can't keep up, he will have to go to a special school. And that's something that whilst we're not opposed to it, you know, we would like to give him every opportunity to, to try mainstream school and succeed in that sense. Yeah, but, well, it sounds like you guys are very proactive. What we're working on is um, being able to get feedback from people and find out, okay, what are the things that we can do better? And once we start getting interaction data, we'll be able to make it smarter and smarter. So we'll be able to do stuff where he'll be able Able to interact and for example it'll pick up okay Jasper's like really really into dinosaurs at the moment yeah let's take all the learning lessons that we have and try to reformulate them around dinosaurs yeah, right. yeah. then that's going to be amazing for him it's really cool that I can make learning fun for Jasper especially considering we both love dinosaurs <laughs>